Moving on to resolution 2022-0905, introduced by Commissioner Thacker. Resolution directs the approval to relieve the closed portion of Mountain Cove Road at the county road and will become a private drive to be maintained by someone other than the county. Whereas Mountain Cove Road intersects with Way Hill Road and Dean about a four tenths per mile in length across the county. 2,188.47 and running in a south southerly direction <coughs> to the dead end with a 50 foot right of paper in the uh, seventh commissioner district of the county road uh, right away the uh, date October 10, 1988, and was added to the road list. And where the president of uh, property owners of the dead end of the road now requested. That Hawkins County released and closed the last 240 feet of the road. Uh, with that portion of the road to become a private drive. And whereas the road committee met on August 10, 2022, and was presented on no right of closure declared form from the property owners, uh, Alberta, Atkins, and Cleveland, North Pentecost. Uh, the committee agreed unanimously to ask the uh, county clerk to approve and release closure of the requested portion of Mountain Cove Road. The uh, portion of the road effect will be as follows. Uh, Mountain Cove Road, beginning the northern, northern corner of the property line on Alberta Atkins. Uh, 182 Mountain Cove Road, property uh, map uh, 149-24. Cleveland, Donna, Pontiac, 175, over Road, Crawford D, 149 D-1, and extend southerly to the end of the uh, roadway, approximately 240 feet, which got the map study we all have. Whereas, uh, upon passage of this resolution, this portion of Cove, uh, Mountain Cove Road B uh, will become a private drive, and all the channel will be relieved, relinquished, and discharged uh, from maintaining this portion of the road. Therefore, we have resolved that approval be given to relieve and close uh, the uh, portion mentioned portion of Mountain View uh, Cove Road as a public road and remain, uh, removed from the roadway. Thank you. Thank you. Motion by Commissioner Thacker, seconded by Commissioner Roach. Is there any discussion? I do have one question. You need to buzz in on your. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Barry, you're first on the list. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the question I've had uh, regarding the portion of the road, according to the map, the road dead end is at Cherokee Lane. And the issue I have with it is the road's a public road, and if you close the road at all, you're closing public access to Turkey Lake. Now, I contacted, just to double check myself, I contacted uh, TVA in Knoxville on Monday, this past Monday, and I got a reply back, I believe it was Thursday. And basically from Tennessee Valley Authority's <coughs> viewpoint, Yes, it is a public access to Cherokee Lake. TVA does not have a, a boat ramp there. They do not have a dock or anything like that. They do not maintain it as a public access as such, but it is public accessible if anybody wanted to come down. Mountain Cove Road and go to the lake, they could. So basically, in my mind, that's the issue. If you if you close the road and and give up ownership of the end of it, then you're basically forfeiting the public right of way to the lake. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Barrett. <coughs> Commissioner Thacker, it, it's your resolution, so 
I'm going to move you ahead of Commissioner Britton there just a minute so you can answer his question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the road committee went down and looked at this road and like the road looks at it, they voted unanimous to close it. The problem is the road goes up dead end. There's no turnaround. You've got to use some, someone's driveway to turn around when you get to the end of the road. It does go up to TVA property. But the property that goes onto the lake uh, there's only walk access, and you've got to go down to Big Bank, well, part of Big Bank, to even get down to the lake. Uh, you can't get a vehicle down to it. Uh, there's no ramp, nothing like that. Uh, but, uh, Linda, you were on the road you, you didn't make it, did you? Mm -hmm. Did you make that road to Yeah. You were there. Mm -hmm. I knew Keith was and uh, some others. But anyway, uh, there, it, it, I know it's on TVA property, but there's no access to the lake. Someone just moved in, put their boat ramp, I don't know if it's a pontoon boat or a boat, but it's sitting out in the water. But they're just using Well, they've got to sit on the uh, county right away, park their vehicle. They don't have nowhere to turn around except someone's driveway. So. Am I not right in saying they will go off in those driveways? You know, the one on the right would be wrong. Would be wrong. Yeah. And they are threatening the people about the people that own the. That would be Alberta. Act. Yes. Yeah. It would be blocked for drive. Yeah. Commissioner Britton. I just had one question in reference to the where they had the stuff where it says second district of Hawkins County were notarized. Both of their notarized portions say it's in the second district. I just want to point that out. Yeah, it should have been six <coughs> Mr. Mr. Chairman, yeah. if I can, sure. I can perhaps address that. Right. Uh, basically, Mr. Britton, Mr. Britton, I had basically the same question and the way it was explained to me the the deeds and the maps and things in the register of deeds office they go by civil districts and it shows in the second civil district whereas if it refers to uh, districts of magistrates it is a magistrate district and that's that's where it would fall under the seventh District. Just, just a matter of clarification, because I had a side question. Okay. Commissioner Britt, is that it? Yes. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Rhodes. Um, just, just to, to speak real quick, of course, I, I grew up in the Slayville area, not more than a mile and a half from where this is located. And I'll tell you, uh, there's, there's a number of public accesses to the lake there already within rocks that are on distance from, from this area. I think part of the issue is that those that are using this access to the lake um, are also encroaching on private property, uh, not just by turning around, but which from what I understand from the original sponsor, when, uh, former Commissioner Fields, uh, they're just walking all over folks' yards and it's just become a, a very very inconvenient experience for these folks and they, they're just simply trying to protect their private property. So. As, as a commissioner, when I see you know citizens having their property accessed by folks that are trespassing under the guise of accessing the lake, um, we have to figure out how they can access the lake without accessing private property, or we need to close that access so that private property can be protected. So uh, in my opinion, you're talking about 240 foot access, a uh, bit of road that will close to protect the citizens' uh, property. And secondly, there's other accesses all over Slade Hill. All you gotta do is drive up through there and find one. Uh, there's, there's plenty of places to get to the lake. Okay, thank you, Commissioner Rhodes. Commissioner Barrett, you're still on board if you'd like to speak. Uh, no, sir, I'll just ask him. Okay. Answer. Are there sure. any further questions or comments? Okay, hearing none, let's cast your vote. Twelve yes, one no, one absent. Okay, motion carried.